my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's, What's the procedure, calm? everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, you calm down! Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about these leaked set photos. We've got so many to go over. These are all brand new from last night and today we've got our first look at Godspeed this season. We've got our first look at the new Killer Frost suit and our first look at the new Flash suit for this season as well. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so first off, we're going to talk about the Godspeed stuff, but before we get into all of that, I have to credit everyone who have taken these photos. Okay, so you can check out Canada Graphs. A lot of their photos are going to be featured in this video, so they will be in the link in the description below. Follow their Twitter, also their blog post. There's loads more photos, and I'm talking loads more, so go check it out. And they've got a whole description as to what went on. We'll go over a bit of that in this video, but you can read it in full for yourself over there. So follow him on Twitter, but also check out the blog post, so that'll be in the description below. Also, YVR Shoots, check them out on Twitter. A lot of their photos are in this video. And additionally, there is one Themyscira bound photo, so go check them out. And the last few ones are all from Instagram, they're not from Twitter or anything. And so some of the photos that we're going to be showing later at the end of this video and that is to do with Caitlin and Ralph so that's from Jessica Zavedo photography so she's on Instagram so go check that out she's a Brazilian photographer in Vancouver additionally some of the Godspeed photos are actually from her I do believe she has two different Instagrams so I'll link both of those and also I'm not sure if it originally came from this person, but this is where some of the photos of Godspeed were found, and that's from turkey.theflash on Instagram, so go check them all out. They all posted tons of different photos. We're going to go through a lot of them here, but obviously it's not everything, so like I said, go check out their accounts on Twitter or Instagram or in Canada Grass's case, the blog site, because there is so much to go over for you guys. Okay, so first off, we're going to talk about the Godspeed stuff, because that is sort of the major thing along with the Killer Frost suit which we'll get into in just a second. So this is so exciting, we are seeing our first look as to Godspeed in the season. So recently we found out and we found out by photoshopping the script that Daniel Panabaker put online, we found out that Godspeed, yeah, he is 100% going to be in episode 1, so we knew that. But now we get to see him, he's in the exact same suit, I do believe it's just a stunt double. And it's the same stunt double you can see from this photo right here. He's got the same body build and he's got the same hair and he's white. He's not the actual guy that we saw last season when he was without the suit. And so with this, with him actually being exposed like this, he's obviously in handcuffs. You can see that right there. That is interesting because he doesn't have his mask on and they've got a camera on top. They've got the mic guy behind. So obviously they're setting up for a shot. They're not in the shot right here, but... He would have had this mask on if they were going to film it like this. So is it actually a different person, a different version of Godspeed in this season? Is it not that same guy because he was Hispanic when we saw a version of Godspeed last season in Daniel Panabaker's episode? So is it a completely different version? This version is obviously in the present day. There is nothing futuristic about what they were filming there. So Godspeed, whatever version of himself it is, is in present day, he doesn't have the mask on, his mask has been taken off. It actually kind of looks like Barry's got it in his hand, he's definitely holding a white thing, looks like his mask, so I'm guessing that's what's happened. He's handcuffed him, it looks like it's metacuffs, and he's got his mask in his hand, and talking about this, talking about suits, yes Godspeed has his same suit, but Barry has a different suit. Obviously, you can see the comparison right here, right now, the suit is very similar to season 5, however, obviously it's the same colour, it's the same sort of brightness. The cow has changed, he's got the chin strap on, this is very exciting, I think this looks a lot better. Obviously it's not a very good quality photo because we've had to zoom in a long way, but from here, I'm digging it, it looks really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing our first look, like our first HD look, maybe in a poster or something like that or whenever someone is able to get a bit closer, because I don't believe Grant was actually shooting that much yesterday 
when he was in a suit. Okay, so that is super exciting. He's definitely facing Godspeed. And also in this photo, someone pointed this out. Flash time on YouTube. He pointed this out. And this is very interesting. So the guy behind them, apparently a lot of people online are thinking that's Julian Albert, that's Tom Felton. I'm not so sure. However, the attire is very Julian-like. It could just be a person working on the set because they're not filming a scene right here. However, he's not doing anything. He's not holding anything. He's just sort of standing there. And he does kind of look a bit like Tom Felton. So, I'm not sure. Make of it as you will. I'm not going to say yes, that is him or no, it's not because I'm completely unsure right now. But some people have been pointing that out online. So, I thought I would bring that up just on the topic of that photo. Okay, so now we move on. To this next photo of Godspeed, we see Godspeed in his handcuffs, he's got his mask on, so this is again what leads me to believe that the next shot he's ripped his mask off, because this is the point where he gets those cuffs on, and so Barry's stopped him, and you see the mat on the ground, so obviously he's been kneeling down, and the shot's not going to actually include that, but he's obviously been racing Barry, they're both in their speedster costumes, and yeah, so this is so exciting. Godspeed in episode 1. Get hyped for that. But let's move on to the next bit. And this is something to really, really get hyped about. This is what I'm most hyped about. And this is Killer Frost's new costume. Daniel Panabaco was on set yesterday. She was filming as Killer Frost. And damn, this suit is so freaking cool. I love this. I love a lot of Killer Frost suit, especially the one in season 3. But this is so cool. This is really comic book accurate with the frost symbol in the middle of her chest. That is very similar to the newer iterations of Killer Frost in the comics. The color scheme is obviously very Killer Frost like. And this suit does remind me of the season 3 suit that I love. And so very excited about this. You can see on the arms it doesn't fully connect at the top. But then you've got sort of this effect on her forearms and it looks like sort of icicles or like snowflakes it looks really cool and so yeah it's a mix of black a mix of blues and then obviously the killer frost hair the makeup and everything all goes together to see this photo so this photo is from YVR shoots Hollywood North Buzz and yeah so moving on to the next photo we got this photo and a couple of ones with her just behind the scenes with Ralph and so Hartley Sawyer and Danielle Pennebaker are just sort of getting ready. She's in her costume suit just to keep herself, you know, warm, I guess. Although it's in the summer, I'm not sure. But anyway, so that is very exciting to see her obviously fully into Killer Frost. And these photos on the screen right now are when she's in rehearsal and before they were shooting. Okay, so the next photo is just another angle of her in her Killer Frost suit. Just a nice photo. I thought I would include this. And so now we move on to some of Canada Graphs' photos. So we got this shot of Killer Frost using her powers. Obviously, she's putting her hands out in the way that she does when she shoots out ice. So this is when they're getting into a big fight. And so let's go over to Canada Graphs' blog and actually read about some of the stuff that was happening in regards to what was going on in this scene. So this is what he wrote on his blog. So go check it out. So. Jesse L. Martin was the first cast member to show up on the set after the break and he had his newly minted Captain Joe West look going as he first did a scene where he just looked on at something as people ran around in a panic. Then shortly after he did that scene, he did a scene with Danielle. I was confused by the scene, so this is obviously Canada Graph speaking, as Danielle was in her Killer Frost attire. But the way the scene looked, it almost looked like she was trying to attack Joe. But I'm assuming I just missed something that maybe was going on behind him. A bit later, Jesse rapped on that location. They then had Danielle and Hartley shooting a scene together where the pair seemed to be facing some daunting tasks. And somehow overcame it. And so this leads on to the moment only Ralph Dibney and Caitlin Snow could engage in really as elongated man hugs Killer Frost for a moment before stopping and awkwardly making emotion like sorry I didn't mean to do that before having the moment reciprocated with Killer Frost giving elongated man a hug back. So what it seems like as in regards to what Canada Grass wrote on his blog 
it seems like they are definitely in some sort of fight scene. It's Killer Frost and Hartley Sawyer's elongated man working together. We've got Joe there just, you know, as his cop self. And we have cop cars around. People going manic. So, again, something very, very much so CGI orientated because he was a bit confused as to what was going on because, simply, it wasn't there. And, you know, it's going to be edited and fixed in a way that is believable, obviously, in post-production. So let's move on to some of these next photos from Canada the Graphs once again. We've got this one right here. Really nice photo with Killer Frost and an elongated man as they're on set. They're fully in costume. Very excited to see them both team up together. Then we got this behind the scenes photo of obviously Danielle talking to Jesse and they're all in the attire, but you know, her suits underneath. She's in her costume jumper for now. But anyway, so another photo right here, just a different angle, a very nice photo with Killer Frost and Elongated Man. And so moving on to the next photo, we got these ones right here, and this is of both of them, once again, just a different angle, kind of nice seeing them look up. And the reason why I talk about like maybe a CGI thing, like Bloodwork, who is confirmed to be in the episode, is going to be added in CGI and he wasn't there on set is because they are looking so high and there was nothing that high up so definitely something like that is going on okay so that is really it in regards to what was going on with the set photos I am so hyped to see that Godspeed's returning he's in his same costume he definitely gets unmasked it's not the same version of Godspeed that's definitely for sure if he is getting unmasked like it is in that photo also, Grant's flash suit looks very nice. I am digging it. Obviously, it's not a great quality photo, but he's got the chin strap back and everything. That's very, very exciting. But the most exciting thing, along with Godspeed and the Flash's new suit, is Killer Frost. I just love that new suit. Let me know in the comments down below what are your opinions on all of this. How do you like the suit? I love it so much. And are you excited for this scene? but also to do with Godspeed and The Flash meeting for the very first time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.